Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Math Math Dali. In this video, we're going to talk about remainder theorem. In our past lessons, to find the remainder of a polynomial divided by some linear factor, we usually use the method of long division or synthetic division. However, the concept of the remainder theorem provides us with the straightforward way to calculate the remainder without going into hassle. How? Let's take a look at our first example. We have here 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 divided by x plus 2. When a polynomial is divided by a linear factor in the form of this one, or x minus c, then the remainder is simply the value of the polynomial divided by or evaluated by the value of c. So what is the first thing we must do? We, we evaluate this one or we equate this one into 0. So we have here x plus 2 is equals to 0. What could be the number that if we add it to 2 becomes 0? Yes, it is negative 2. On our past lessons, when we say evaluating, we just simply substitute the value of x to the given polynomial. So we have here 4 times negative 2 cubed minus 8 negative 2 square plus 9 times negative 2 minus 5. And then we simply solve for negative 2 cubed means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 and that we get negative 8. We have negative 8 times negative 2 square, negative 2 times negative 2, it's positive 4. 9 times negative 2, negative 18, minus 5. 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. Negative 8 times 4 is negative 32, minus 18, minus 5. Negative 32 minus 32 is negative 64. Negative 18 and negative 5 is negative 23. So if I, we add it all together, we're going to have negative 87. Therefore, the remainder of 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 divided by x plus 2 is negative 87. Again, when we say remainder theorem, we simply equate the divisor and then use that value to evaluate or to substitute. And then, after evaluating or after substituting, compute or calculate, and the final answer will be the remainder of the given problem. And that's all. Thank you.